What's up, guys? It's Ben. And I'm Christina. And we're the McMillan Express. We are camping at beautiful Lake Mead at Boulder Beach Campground. It is a national recreation area, so it's run by the National Park Service. Absolutely. And if you guys find your way over here to the Hoover Dam, this is definitely a must campground to check out. Yeah, absolutely. So we're going to show you um, everything that we've learned about the campground, show you around the campground a little bit, and what you can expect from it. Couldn't have said it any better. As you pull into beautiful Lake Mead National Recreation Area, you'll be greeted with this beautiful sight. That's a lot of beautifuls. <laughs> <laughs> Remember Boulder City, historic Boulder City is just a couple miles right behind you with everything you need from groceries, restaurants, etc., etc. Uh, we are pulling into the National Recreation Area. If you have a America the, the Beautiful Pass, you're not going to be greeted with any additional fees. Uh, if you don't, remember, it's just like going to any other national park where you will have to pay a fee to get into the park. They do have a seven-day fee. I believe it's $25 if you don't have an America the Beautiful Pass. That is correct. If you visit more than a couple national parks a year, we do recommend getting it. $80 one time for the whole year makes sense. Sure. Yeah, do yourself a favor Thank you. and get you it. You too. So this is the uh, first view that we are greeted with for the Boulder Beach Campground. Um, there is a full hookup campground next to the dry campground that we are staying at. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a $20 fee to camp at the dry campground. It's $50 a full hookup. If you, do, if you are a senior or have an access pass, it's only $10. That's correct. Now, you also have a full dump station with potable water and there's also bathrooms scattered throughout the campground as well which are very very well maintained right and the uh, there's a bunch of potable water spigots throughout the campground as well and always throw your trash away yep lots of dumpsters so no reason to leave your trash behind this is our favorite loop loop d we find it to be a little bit more seclusive than the other loops at Boulder Beach. Correct. Yeah, the Loop D is actually a very nice area because it puts you right up against Lake Mead. Uh, it is a little shadier there, so keep in mind if you do have solar panels, you may want to be in the area that we're located. Which isn't necessarily a loop number. Uh, it's just on the southwest part of the park. Uh, but this Loop D, as you can see, there are some sunny sites. It's just a really nice area. So this is a pull-through site. These pull-through sites are enormous. I don't think that any size rig is going to have an issue getting not at all. any of these sites. Not at all. And I would I would bet that most, if not all, these sites are big enough for Class A's. Yeah, and this is the cleanest campground I think we've ever been to. When you leave, they even clean out your fire pit. They are on top of it. Everything is just perfectly maintained. Johnny on the spot. Mm -hmm. So we are about to pull into our site, which is site number 91. Uh great view of Lake Mead. Um, we did have a little bit of shade in the morning, but we were able to get back up our batteries back up to 100% every day. Yeah, we did. And we really love this, this site here. Home sweet home. Yep. Now the site behind us, site 102, showing you that because the tent pad is in the back of the site, which uh, actually gives a little bit more room for those larger rigs. Our tent pad's on the side. Still, you can see we've got eight to 10 feet behind us. Um, and total length were about 46 feet, so. Hey, who's that handsome fella? Oh, you know, that's just Ben being a, a blue collar, taking care of the truck kind of guy. I'll buy that for a dollar. Beautiful Lake Mead. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. Again, we are at Boulder Beach Campground right on Lake Mead, close to Hoover Dam. One thing we do want to point out is quiet hours are from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m., which means generator hours are from 6 a.m. until 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. And um, if you can hear behind me, the generator is going at the next campsite. Not a very loud generator. Um, but just keep in mind that you will hear generators going here for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. So if you have any more questions or comments, just leave us a message and we'll get back to you. Yeah. And if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And also, don't forget to subscribe. Until then, the McMillan Express out. Peace. See you guys later.